Sorry. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, yeah. we like, have we discussed. In, so, in, what's your point of view again about terms, that? In terms of ta- like, I've asked multiple pastors about this. I wouldn't do it if it was a sin. Um. So you said it's not a sin. It's not a sin. But it's a disobedience. I don't think it is. It's it depends on the context. Okay. You this there's this whole argument about how our body is a temple of God. Okay. Right? So if you look more into the Bible too, when God tells Solomon to build a temple, what does he do? To decorate it, to carve on it, to draw on it. So that wouldn't make sense if it was a temple of God. God loves art like he he told most like uh solomon when he was building the temple to decorate it make it beautiful for god but so, you said it's and you it's already the mosaic law is already broken because of jesus yeah so why are you the mosaic um, law is broken because of jesus so we don't follow that anymore okay right? but why are you saying now that solomon if you're gonna base it based uh but why are you basing now to solomon about the temple decorating because you guys are coming up with the argument that our body is a temple okay so i'm basing it from your argument if our body is a temple what does god see the temple as oh okay kind of, like he he was the one he was the one telling solomon okay to decorate his temple so to, what's your motive of those statue and it's it's more so like it's a white area. It's a, like a gray area thing. So if you were to get a, a tattoo representing Christ, representing God, there's no wrong in that. In, in fact, that would lead, like, let's say you're around non-believers and they ask you, what does that tattoo mean? Jesus, that's like a conversation starter kind of okay. thing. Okay. More so. So it's all in the context. Okay. Because and- if, again, if you were to get a, a pointless tattoo with like, Let's say skulls. Okay, that's questionable. Yeah. But if it's a tattoo that can, you know, you think is like God-based, Bible-based, you know, then people ask you, non-believers ask you, what does that tattoo mean? What's your point? It's not, it can start of a conversation, you know? Okay. Plus, it's like, it's new. So you said it's not disobedient. It's not disobedient. Okay. Even if I already told you not to put it, you are, it's not okay, the, that's a disobedience. To me. To you, not to God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I am my own person. Okay, you know I just I mean? want to like, yeah. But yeah. It's, it's a gray area. It's like, yes, but but it's, what if they will say, do you know your identity with Christ? So if you know your identity with Christ, why do you have to have those kind of stuff on your body? If they will like lead you to that particular mm-hmm. verse for the first Corinthian about the temple of God. Because the, that, that's the manifestation that if you are really, you know that your identity in Christ and you know that he said in his world that your body is a, a, a temple of God. So how are you going to answer that? What do you mean? Like, like how are you guys going to answer like, it seems like you don't know your real identity. That Why do you have... That doesn't, you can't count. tell someone mm-hmm. if they know their identity. That's up to them. That's in them. You can't tell someone just because okay, you so, have tattoos. Yeah. You don't know yeah. Your okay. So you know what's I mean? your, what are you gonna in, in your own in your own like uh, explanation? Do you know your identity with Christ? Why yes. do you have to do so? It's because again, I think one, I think it's it's not a sin, and if it's God based, Bible based, if your motives are to you know. It, that, it, praise is, comes in all forms you know what i mean yeah and if that's art which is you know then that's praise to god it's all like a gray area to be honest okay. you can't tell someone that oh just because you have tattoos you don't know god you don't know your identity that's not fair that's an old way of thinking like you can't bring newer audiences newer ages with old tactics you know what i mean Okay. <laughs> it's it's true. It, I've asked different pastors about this. I wouldn't do it if it was a sin. I wouldn't. I've seen pastors preach about this, and it's like. Who 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 is that pastor? Online pastors. Yeah. There's like, pastors that are. Um, I've seen that like actually move within Christ. They lead younger people to Christ, and I like you can tell when somebody's like, in the Holy Spirit. You know what I mean? You can tell a person. 
Okay. If a person has the Holy Spirit in them. And okay. What says, about the piercing? Why did you like had it? Like, why did you ask me? The piercing? Yeah, in your ears. So also, I like, think, I, I actually like, you know, hurting yourself, <laughs> hurting well, your own just, body. I was okay when I was sixteen. I wanted it. Okay. And then I was just like, okay. Um, so it's just because of that decoration. Decoration. But on the tattoo, you have your basis with it. If, okay. you have, if everything is God based, Bible based, like representation of God, and it can lead into, you know, again, it's like a newer mindset, but I know my identity in Christ. A tattoo is not going to separate me from God. And it's like, I've, I know it's not a sin. And it's like, you know, it's okay. I'm going to do it. But okay. other people can have ways of thinking. But again, we're called to okay. love and be together unify not a tattoo separating a christian from another christian because they only have it you know what i mean it's not it doesn't make sense that's okay good so. enough love you <laughs> night <Bye. laughs>